Welcome back. The Bellevue Arts Museum is getting ready to launch its newest exhibit featuring an American artist who pushes the limits of our imagination. On top of this new exhibit, Robert Williams is also preparing to release a new book featuring works from his career, something he's dubbed as the lowbrow art movement. Robert joins me now. It's great to meet you. What does the lowbrow art movement mean? I knew you were going to ask that Because I like it, so am I lowbrow too? I hope. I, I don't aspire well, to much more. I've got an academic art background, and I come up through arts during the period of abstract expressionism when representational art was a taboo. Mm -hmm. And I uh, struggled all my youth in, in the arts to bring back realism and narrative realism. And uh, the only way I could really get attention was through the punk rock movement. And uh, with young people, I could pull off this lurid form of realism. You know, what, you're, what you see in comic books and movie posters, uh, pulp magazine covers, all, all the rich, wonderful stuff mm -hmm. that the art world was a little too sophisticated to deal Interesting. with. Interesting, and that's how you ended up <clears throat> with a piece that inspired my favorite rock group, Guns N' Roses. You had <laughs> had a cover um, that has a name that appetite, was your appetite for destruction. Your art. Well, they found they found the painting on a, a postcard and then contacted me. And at that period of time, I was licensing out a lot of my paintings for punk rock bands for almost nothing. And this unheard of band called Guns N' Roses was driving me nuts for a cover, that particular cover. And I said, well, that, that cover is a little lurid. Why don't you come over to my house and go through the, my, my selection of artwork and find something a little tamer? And they said, well, no, we want that. And I said, well, good deal if you can <laughs> handle that, you know. The first problem is going to be getting those albums over the Canadian border, and then you're going to have religious groups, and then parent groups. You're going to have all these problems that I faced in underground comics. Mm -hmm. and, and lo and behold, the situation unfolded like I threatened them with, you know, that uh, it's going to be a very controversial cover, and it was. And um, uh, I'm, I'm not a commercial artist. I've always strove to be a, a fine arts artist, even though I can draw and paint to a certain amount of uh, accuracy. But uh, I've discovered that <clears throat> I was not alone. There was other artists in the same predicament. <laughs> I was involved with Zap Comics with Robert Crumb and a number of other celebrities and back in the 60s and 70s. And we'd all went to a formal art school and all found out that during the abstract expressionist period, it was a, an enormous taboo to tighten up and get, get into storylines and narrative and fine art. Well, <clears throat> I'm not criticizing the fine art world. In, in the fine arts world, there's really no such thing as good and bad. There's just a subjective observation. So I'm, I can't sit here and run down one form of art over right. another. It just wasn't yours. It just wasn't mine. That's Which right. Which makes total yeah. sense. <clears throat> Tell me about what's coming into the Bellevue Art Museum. Well, um, in conjunction with the publication of my new book, they're doing a wonderful, wonderful show of mine with, a, with about 50 or 60 pieces of art. And uh, I think about 40 of them are oil paintings mm -hmm. and some of them I find is later work. And I, I couldn't be more honored and more happy that they would uh, uh, offer me this opportunity to, to um, sh show the public in Seattle. And uh, Seattle is a wonderful place. There's a situation that's happening all over the West Coast from, from uh, uh, San Diego to Puget Sound. That There's a West Coast style that's uh, irritating New York. It's irritating the capital of the art world. Mm -hmm. And they look to us to, to see exactly what their problems are going to be in the future. <laughs> uh, I, I've had a number of shows in New York and on the East Coast. And I can, I can understand that... Uh, the thing about New York is they pride themselves on sophistication. And um, uh, Pablo Picasso said it perfectly. He said, the, the greatest enemy of imagination is sophistication. Uh, it's an inhibition. And if you can erase yourself and step away from sophistication, I don't mean being brutal and crude, but just uh, 
loosen yourself up a little bit and let your imagination run wild. You'll realize that there's an enormous unexplored universe for artists out there. If, uh, I like that invitation. <clears throat> your book is coming out as well. What will we see in that? Well, that's about 60 years of me painting. Wow. So. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it, and some of it, <laughs> some of it's pretty wooly, you know. I, uh, That's an excellent you, you, word. <clears throat> We're going to put up some of the ones that are, are great for morning TV. Okay. Uh, uh, but, but it's amazing None of it is openly pornography, but some of it's pretty, pretty uh, uh, lurid. Uh, you say, well, we wouldn't want the kids to see that. The, the problem with the book is not the, the, the sex and the violence in the book. The problem that I think for children and um, uh, certain people would be the use of abstract thinking. I think uh, uh, a young person that went through this book, and the abstract thought that's applied in this thing might be a little perplexing. There. But then that's what art is supposed to do, is it not, to challenge us in that way? Well, I would say that, yeah, I would say that, you know, but uh, you, you have to remember that 90 percent of the people that dabble in the arts see paintings as wall decorations, n not thought, you know. <clears throat> so you're, you're more akin to people uh, thinking of art as uh, an adjunct of uh, uh, architecture and interior decorating than they think of, I've got this thought here, you know, this uh, uh, parable before me, you know, so. People say, well, you know, I couldn't hang that in my house. So, well, that isn't for your house. This is for the special <laughs> viewing chapel you have to build for it. <laughs> and for your mind. That's right. <laughs> Those things. Thank you so much. It's been a Just pleasure to meet to, you. Thanks for this little bit of exposure. I really appreciate it. I really it. have loved talking to you about this, and I hope people will definitely go. Robert has two different events tonight and tomorrow at the Bellevue Arts Museum to celebrate the opening of this new show, and it's a great museum. If you haven't been over, please do. Head over to the link on New Day's website for more information. The exhibit runs until March 8th of next year. And then up next, the latest scams happening on social media right now that you need to know about to protect your family. We'll be right back.